A terrifying creature has been unleashed on Malastare. We watched the Zillow Beast for our Clone Wars chronological rewatch, so now it's time to break it all down. The Republic uses an experimental new bomb to stop the advance of Separatist forces on Malastare. The result is a mess of deactivated droids and a giant sinkhole where a Zillow Beast has been sleeping. Now awake, the Doug people want it killed, but Mace Windu and the Republic want to study it. Anakin develops a plan to put the creature to sleep so it can be transported back to Coruscant. The theme of this episode is choose what is right, not what is easy. And I could think of like three big ways that this theme came up in this episode. Mace would be the obvious one, but right off the start, they use this new electro proton bomb to stop the droids. And I would argue that that is the easy thing and not necessarily the right thing. Yeah, they they promise that it is only going to disrupt like mechanical things and the Doug people are worried. It's kind of funny because yeah. they're worried about, they say something about our delicate uh, ecosystem, which their planet is pretty desolate. I mean, don't say that to them. <laughs> We'd never say that in front of a Doug, but no. I mean, it doesn't look great. But, I mean, that is a valid concern. Yeah. I mean, they don't know what it's going to do to their planet. They are also, like, Palpatine and Mace are all like, uh, I mean, hopefully this doesn't hurt the clones, but we don't know for sure. Yeah. So I would say that the bomb is an easy thing and not the right thing. Yeah. It's pretty risky. Yeah. And then, ultimately, it does mess up the ecosystem. It causes this big old sinkhole, and that's where the Zillow Beast is. And that's where I think the main point of this theme comes out, where Mace refuses to kill it. Yeah. Because it's just an innocent animal, the last of its kind, maybe. Yeah. I wonder how long it's been under there. Yeah, just sleeping. Just a like, long time, I guess. When was it going to come come out? It, that's what, like, it, it wasn't going to do anything to anyone. It was just <laughs> sleeping, and then this bomb wakes it up. Yeah. And then we run into the problem with the Dugs having this like history with the Zillow Beast and tradition for them to, you know, kill it with this poisonous gas. And it's it's pretty disturbing. Yeah, but I mean, like, I can see their point of view, which is why I think it's uh, a, a good conflict because the Zillow Beast used to wreak havoc on their people and they had to fight them. But that was, I think, like thousands of years ago. And now they have, like, new means to stop the Zillow Beast, and they suggest relocating it, and the Dugs are like, no, we're going to kill it because we have to. And then it's like, all right, guys, calm down. Yeah, and then Palpatine slides in, <laughs> and he's like, hey. Lightsaber resistant, you say. <laughs> What's that about uh, that hard shell of it? Yeah, and so he slides in and, and you know, suggests that they put it to sleep, make the Dug people think that it's dead so that they can take it. And so that he can ultimately have it studied. Yeah, but I would say that that's another uh, thing where the theme comes up because he says we need to study it closely on Coruscant when originally they said, you know, we could study it on another planet. We'll just relocate it and then we can look at it from there. And of course, Palpatine has nefarious purposes for this, but he wants to get it right next to him so he can see it. And like that's taking the easy way out. And I mean... If you've seen the next episode, you know that it doesn't go great. Yeah. And it's it just goes to show like how easily swayed the Jedi are by Palpatine. He just kind of like casually suggests that they should study it and, you know, make the Doug people think, basically lie, make them think that it's dead. And the yeah. Jedi are like, well, I, I guess. <laughs> and I, I hadn't even really considered that. But yeah, it just shows that they are way too closely intertwined with politics and the politicians yep. and pleasing them. So yeah, at first they're like, we have to save it. It's innocent. And then like the idea of relocating it is probably their best option. But then the idea of taking it back to Coruscant to have it studied by scientists, it's like, well... It's better than it dying, I guess, in a pool of poisonous gas. Yeah. But really, you know, that's torch. It would be torture yeah. for yeah. an innocent. <laughs> that's a good point too. Animal. That is is that a better fate, really? Yeah. And they didn't really even stand up for it. They're like, well, as long as it's alive, I guess. Yeah. Like they could have fought more for. Let's put it on a new planet where it won't kill people. Yeah. 
Before wrapping up, let's go over some of the random pieces of trivia from the episode. This episode was inspired by classic Godzilla movies, even down to the painting on the helmets of clone bomber pilots Goji and Rod. The Wilhelm scream can be heard when a clone trooper is trampled by the Zillow Beast. A handwritten note on the Electro Proton Bomb says, This is for you, Dooku. You can also find those facts on StarWars.com's episode guides, and they're currently doing a rewatch on their website as well if you want to check that out. I'll put a link in the description to all of the episodes listed out chronologically, but that's it for today. Next week, we'll watch Season 2, Episode 19, The Zillow Beast Strikes Back, if you want to watch along. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out our Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.